In today's update, we got some more long-awaited horses and I'm gonna be buying them today. We're gonna be buying some new pets. We're gonna be spending more star coins because the equestrian festival is just a sinkhole for my money right now, but it's okay because it gives me a serotonin boost. Anyways, let's head over to the Jorvik stables, which is where the two new horses are for this week. So I do actually, I did buy the thoroughbred, which we got in the first week. You can go out and check out that video if you missed it. I buy a little horses on this channel so if you like buying horse videos and things like that shopping videos a couple of other more creative videos as well then we're kind of getting close to 40,000 subscribers so if you continue enjoying this video then uh I'd appreciate a subscribe. It's, uh, anyways. <laughs> Let's just check out these horses. So we have a chestnut Arabian. I think it's called a chestnut. I don't know. This horse is gorgeous. Definitely gives me chestnut thoroughbred vibes. But you know what? The chestnut thoroughbreds is one of my favorite horses. And we have a flea bitten thoroughbred. And oh my gosh, I love the revival of the English thoroughbreds right now. I'm actually <gasps> living for it. Now I gasp because look at the socks on the chestnut horse. Now, usually, I'm actually not one to like pay attention to the socks that much but uh this horse's socks are just really cute oh my gosh now I was gonna prepare names for these horses but I didn't um we're gonna go ahead and buy the flea bitten one first I suppose because I am already looking at it I kind of thought maybe I could call this horse moon because flea bitten whenever I think flea bitten I think of my American quarter horse called Luna and Luna means moon and I kind of like it I kind of like the name moon let's see moon should be a star stable name shouldn't it I'm gonna sue the company if moon's not a name oh my gosh scrolling 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 I scrolled past it I can alphabet yep no I didn't I I can definitely alphabet oh my gosh moon epic moon is a name so yeah i think i'm gonna name this horse moon i don't know i don't know if i'm 100 vibing with it but i think i vibe with it enough to buy this horse and call it moon so three two one let's click the button yay oh my gosh you i i don't know why but i've just been really excited for these horses i don't know why i didn't even know these horses were coming out until i decided i should kind of plan out today's video for the update so i decided to finally look at the trailer and see what horse we were getting so uh i i looked at it. i didn't get my first reaction but i didn't look too in depth at them i just saw chestnut and flea bitten and i was like i don't know now i my okay this kind of reminds me icon english of my not flea bitten anymore chestnut thoroughbred as i said before i think this one's more of like a fiery color a bit, a bit more of a red tint you know the other one is like a little bit more orangey yellowish tint a cooler tint if you would but that my horse's name is chester so i was thinking what kind of goes along with chester maybe i could name this horse jester i don't they're not the same breed but like they kind of give me the same vibes and i like pairing up horses sometimes i think it's cute unfortunately jester isn't a name i have now found out i mean i wasn't really expecting it jasper is a name i think i already have a horse named jasper jelly jasper star like almost sounds like it but I'm also kind of hesitant because jazz star is like difficult to say as a Jorvik name but why would I ever be calling this horse jazz star instead of just jester yeah I think I'm just gonna go with jazz star aka jester jazz star is like surprisingly difficult to say <laughs> hopefully this is actually really close though if i say jazz star i should be able to a year down the line be able to link jester to jazz star okay i'm just gonna go ahead and buy it this is my my lips are definitely pronouncing things oh my gosh what is going oh my gosh yay oh my gosh okay i'm very excited no one's riding on them yet which i find surprising usually people are like they buy the horse and then they're just instantly right in front of my face um oh this is alex i thought this is where we could buy the pet where are the pets now these new bird pets are like you can oh uh, 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 what's my brain they're not leaving after the festival they're not festival exclusive but i still want to buy them they're at the grand entrance of the festival okay yep i can read i'm gonna take it that the grand entrance is at Morled. Let's also actually double check the shop because we might have gotten more clothes and my inventory is so full but I'm just so addicted to clothes. It's so bad. Uh, grand entrance. 
grand entrance anyone maybe over this grand entrance way hey yo where's the grand entrance oh my gosh maybe it's over here oh and also you can like now exchange recyclables for spring tokens which is epic but you guys will find out about that in my next uh how to get spring tokens guide probably coming out tomorrow honestly this week is so good they've added a bunch of new ways to get spring tokens which is epic and here we <gasps> oh oh my god there's balloons oh i was not expecting balloons I love balloons so much. This update is so expensive, but making me so happy. Oh my gosh. Yes, please. Yes, please. And this one kind of looks like one of the ones that we got for Christmas. Uh, but, oh, I guess it's not limited time, actually. Maybe I don't have to buy this. I don't know. It's just kind of... Maybe it doesn't. You know, I'm, I'm gonna buy it. It's still, it's still cute. And the other one is actually... <gasps> There's another balloon. Oh my gosh. And then this one. The, not only have they added new ways to get tokens, we have now many expensive items. Okay. Let's see. Did they add anything new? I don't think they added a new tax set, which is good because tax sets are very expensive. And spring tokens. Let's have a look in this shop. People are over here. Maybe. Maybe. I know that I was just like, oh my gosh. I don't have enough like story space in the clothes. But I still kind of wanted more clothes. Don't attack me. Okay. Well, I think I bought everything. So let's call for pickup and go get on our new horses. I say out. You know what? What I own, you guys own too. We we share in this community. You live vicariously through me. I just have the joys of making videos, you know? Oh my gosh. My home stable is like kind of empty. So they're just going to be right here. Oh my gosh. They're right here. I've, they're just they're just really cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's untack this horse because I'm too lazy to get another outfit. I think I'm gonna ride on Jazzstar. I literally said I wasn't gonna call him Jazzstar. Jester first. Let's see. Does this outfit match you? It matches, it matches pretty good. It matches pretty good. I'm happy with that. Okay, and let's see. We've got this gorgeous yellow balloon here. Very pretty. This green balloon here. I think I'm gonna use a green balloon with this outfit because the saddlebag has a little bit of green on it and none of the other part of the outfit has green on it. I don't know why Star Staple put green on the saddlebag, but you know what? I feel like the green contrast or something. What am I doing over here? Let's just clean up my home stable. It's a bit of a mess. It's like got a little bit of like a bluey, bluey purple tint to it, which is actually really cute. Let's look at the other ravens we have. If they're in my... See, this one. It does kind of give me this one's vibes. But this one was free. They're different. I like it. I like it. Just not with this outfit. Moira, what are you doing? Okay. Wow, this horse is just so gorgeous. Ooh, I wanted to pull out my thoroughbred. Thor thor thoroughbred. See, here we have like a very fiery chestnut as well. The Andalusian. One of my favorite Andalusians as well. I don't know. I just love chestnut. I love the fiery color. They're just so pretty. Here we go. Here's the thoroughbred. Yeah, see... It's like kind of the same, but the mane is definitely more of a fiery color. But I like them both. I don't mean to compare two completely different horses. I just kind of mess up the thoroughbreds, Arabians, and Mawaris for no particular reason all the time. I feel like just from a distance, they kind of look the same-ish. But I love all of them pretty equally. Like very equally. I, I get them mixed up all the time, so I love them all equally. But on this new horse, we're gonna go check out the new race, I think, because new horse equals more horses for me to train. Is this the last week of the festival? I think it's the second last week of the festival, isn't it? In it? Why did I say in it? Okay, um, I think it is. Where's the new race? I think it actually might be at Yorvik Stables. I need a Jorvik Stables trailer. I know it's pointless because there's a trailer in Yarlaheim, a trailer at Sunfield Farm. But I just, I know it's Sunfield Farm, but I still just struggle so much to find Sunfield Farm. Let's go find this new race. Apparently it's like a grand race or something. It's special. I can't remember the name for it, okay? Oh, look at this trackner as well. Oh, we love lag. We love to see it. I think the new race is going to be over here. Let's see with Lily. Floral decorations, elite cross country race at Yorvik Stables. This is one of the activities that I'm sure can only be handled by true bulldogs. And you as well, Cassandra, of course. Thank you. Moira is making mischief somewhere. When it comes to racing, I ain't just in the top 10. I am the Q to the U to the E E N. Queen. Mic drop? Oh yeah, because you're like the rapper person. Pretty devastating, huh? Okay, go try that race. I will. Where is it? What am I meant to be doing? Why do I feel so clueless sometimes? Why do I get so lost? Oh, it's over here. It's behind me. Ow. Is it over here? Where's the race? Do I have to talk to her? No. No. Sorry. My true Australian coming out there. Yeah. 
Bro, Star Stable, you gotta explain it to me a little bit. Honestly, they probably did explain it to me. Learn about, no, I've learned that. Where, where do I go? How are people doing the race right now? I see the little circle. Please tell me I'm not the only one that's like being really dumb at some of these quests. I know this is the quest, the race here. Do I start a high school race? Is that what it's telling me to do? Apparently I've already done it because I have a high school. Oh yeah, because this is probably one of the, uh, is this what I meant to do? Is this what I meant to do? Someone help. Ah, that always scares me. Oh my gosh, Star Stable, fix your game. <laughs> Gives me a heart attack every time because I've had graphics card issues and graphics cards are expensive. And that's literally what happens. Your game, your like computer screen just goes black and it scares me every time. Anyways, yeah, this is one of the Jorvik open house races, but they merged all the festivals together. I'm not complaining. I just, is this what I'm meant to be doing? Am I just doing this race pointlessly, right? No, it's not what I'm meant to be doing. It says that I'm right on top of it. Who do I talk to? I've pr probably spent half of this video. I've c cut it all out. I'm purely trying to find what am I meant to be? How are people do? Was I doing it right? Bestie, Bestie, Lily. Did you check out the elite race? Maybe I did just click on this. Okay, well, we're, we're, we're trying again. We're trying again. I'm just very confused. And okay, I love Star Stable, but I just feel like this isn't the first quest in the Equestrian Festival, which they didn't explain enough for me to understand where to go next. I think there was one about the spring tokens and championships. They just kind of finished talking about the narrative side of things and didn't explain that I had to go and click on a championship board and or something like that. They just left me hanging and I'm I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. I'm very slow at things. I, I'm sorry, you just kind of got to explain things to me a little bit because my brain has been frazzled from school and everything that I just am not as smart as eight year old me was when I first started playing this game because I don't remember it being this difficult sometimes. Anyways, on a side note, this race is very fun and I do like races because I do like training my horses. Getting them all speedy. Speedy boys. <gasps> Look at the little swans. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. Okay, sorry. I get distracted. And look, it's the bacon windmill. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, this outfit goes way good. Way good. I'm so sorry with this horse. Who am I? I'm like an Eshe or something. I really hate that I said way good. Oh my gosh. And you know, I could cut out the cringy stuff that I say, but I choose not to because in my brain I think, hey, people will laugh at that, you know? Laughing's good. <laughs> okay, did I do it? Oh my gosh, I did it. Okay, you could have just told me sign up for the championship at the championship board. Oh my, you know what? I managed to do it. I managed to do it. Nice, you have what it takes, it seems. See, why didn't they just like teleport me into the race why do i have to do all of that the equestrian okay no i don't want to do this right now i was hoping that i'd be able to do the race again but apparently not today because i wanted to go get on the other horse and do the race again to get you know that xp but it's fine anyways let's go ahead and get on the other thoroughbred and maybe make an outfit for this like purpley blue raven pet because i think basically everything goes with flea button you know why is my game so laggy? I think it's because everyone's logging online for the Equestrian Festival. I think there's more servers that they're like testing out because there's three new servers on the Australian region, but you can't access them yet. So I think they're like getting ready to release three new servers for, the, for, for us. And like, that just makes me happy. I remember when we only had Firestar and like, it just makes me so proud of us to, of Australia and fellow regions to have grown, to be able to get more regions. It makes me happy. Hmm. This outfit kind of works, but it's just such a mixture of like styles of clothing. But I'm just gonna go with it. Go with the flow. Now I would go to another race at the quest equestrian festival, but I've already done my training today. Shockers, I know. Not like everywhere, just around the equestrian festival. I didn't do this for the Arab it was an Arabian, right? Yeah, for the for the chestnut horse, for Jester. But I feel like a flea bitten horse has a little bit more details that maybe we could look at. I don't know. Oh, you don't talk to the councilman. Ooh, this is like my first time going into the club hall since it came out basically because i'm not in a club but you guys suggested in one of my other videos that when i make videos on horses at nighttime, because obviously it's update day and i have the lovely 
Australia time zone, it's kind of hard to see the horses outside. But I said this and you guys said that the lighting was normal, but the lighting is still kind of dark in here. It's still kind of weird, but maybe this is better. I don't know. Let me know. But let's just get a nice close up on this flea bitten horse. It is super gorgeous. I really like it. Ooh, look at the little details here on the muzzle as well. Very pretty. There we go. See, this is normal lighting. And it's still very sunset in the riding hall. So I still don't really know what to do, you guys. So I, I just, I like bright lighting in this game. Look at the details in the ears. Oh my gosh, this horse is gorgeous. I, for some reason, I'm just a sucker for flea-bitten horses. But let me know in the comments below. Pixel Pandas control. Oh my gosh. Let me know in the comments below if uh, you guys bought these horses. If you bought any of the Equestrian Festival horses. And maybe what you guys named them. Because I love hearing why people name their horses certain things as well. It's just really interesting to me. I like it. But I hope you guys are having an awesome day or have had an awesome day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!